My name is Matt Kazuma Kinoshita. I'm the owner and shaper for Kazuma Surfboards Hawaii. Kazuma is my middle name. And when I first started shaping, being a young shaper wasn't very uh, sellable. Nobody wanted to buy a board from a young shaper. He had to be an old gray-haired guru to get respect. So I hid behind the Kazuma name. And most people thought I was, you know, an old Japanese man. And, <laughs> and um, it worked because eventually when people got to know the name, they didn't care if I was 20 years old. Well, I started off as a surfboard shaper and it evolved into a craftsman. <laughs> so I do everything. And what the customer wanted, wanted dictated what I started to make. So one week, kiteboarding became popular. Next thing you know, I'm building kiteboards. And then downwind boards became popular. I'm a downwind shaper. Whatever anybody wants, I love to make. Plus, I do all those sports, so it benefits me. By taking part in various water sports, Matt is able to do his own research and design and put his personal touch on every watercraft. Well, Fiberglass Hawaii, I consider them a partner in my business because doing all this new development stuff, um, I count on them to find me new products. So if I have a project I'm working on, I'll tell Alberto or Ted, I'll say, this is what I need, can you find it for me? And they're always willing to get me a new product. And so I'm able to stay ahead of the, everybody else. Well, over the years, I've been a surf coach, so I had access to all the best amateur surfers in Hawaii, and that feedback was the most valuable thing. And so I learned a lot from these kids, which define what the sport is today. And then I take that to the average customer, and then blend them together, and we come up with a product that's user-friendly for everybody. Well, from the shaping side of it, Ben Ipa was my mentor, and he was my surf coach and my shaping coach if you want to say it. He, he taught me almost everything I know. And then once I started shaping, Roger Anderson and Jerry Lopez were big influences in my life here. And so you know, I owe a lot to those three guys. And, you know, I love doing that one-on-one -on -one with the customer and I love making boards better. So my customers come to me and give me feedback and it's like my goal to make it better. Matt's taking his knowledge of watercraft design and passing it on to his son, Chaz. Matt also acknowledges that the shaping machine is an essential tool for surfboard design and progression. So I have the APS machine here, and then I have a DSD machine in that room, and I'm building a new top secret APS machine that's going to be pretty cool. And um, with the machines, I can dial in a new model within three variations of it. So if anybody comes to me and wants to build like a new downwind board or a new kite board, it would take me a week to make a board, one revision, two revisions, and we have almost a perfect product. So it's really fast. The research and development goes quick. All these new US blanks are so perfect that one after the other, I can, I can cut without making any mistakes. Well, you can see the pink um, stringer blanks behind me. That's the Kazuma formula. It's, um, it's like a new formula they developed for me at Kazuma because we needed a more durable board. And, you know, Maui is a pretty active place and we have heavy waves and we just needed a board that's more durable. And so they developed a new blank for me. The blanks are amazing. By far the best blanks I've ever had. And I've used every blank you can imagine. So I'm really happy with what I got.